Welcome to Everyday Tactical Vids, and today we're talking about tactical wallets. Now, when you first hear that, you might say, okay, look, I believe in tactical knives, maybe tactical boots, tactical even glasses for protection, but tactical wallets, come on, that's overkill. Well, let me explain what we have here from VanQuest, and you're going to be quite impressed, I think, with what they have to offer. Uh, as I noted, and you can see right here on these two items, this is from VanQuest. Their website is vanquest.com. They have a wide variety of tactical bags, tactical gear, and just nicely made items that are unique and they offer different features than maybe some of the other tactical items you see out there. So definitely check them out. Again, vanquest.com. So these two wallets that we're talking about today, uh, the larger one here is the Cache, C-A-C-H-E, and the smaller one is the Vault. They do share a lot of similar features between the two. Let me start with the smaller and then we'll actually move to the larger one and you'll see the overlap and what the different advantages are from the, each different sizes and also some of the cool technology that's built into them. As I noted earlier, the vault is the smaller of the two items here. Opening it up inside, you can see this is a place where you can basically put credit cards, business cards, other things like that. Um, very durable material that it's made out of. Let me just give you the specs on that real quick. Um, it's 1000D military grade Cordura, and it's got um, it's coated with DuPont Teflon fabric protector. So that's going to make it water repellent, not waterproof. But water repellent, so you know if you do, or if you're out in the rain for an extended amount of time and it gets a little moist, no big problem. So you can keep uh, credit cards and other items in here. Uh, the big, very cool feature of this and the other wallet as well is that it has RFID blocking material. And if you're not familiar with RFID, basically, if you're at the airport, there are people who have high-tech scanners. They can come, and if they can somehow um, get access to and I'm not talking about holding out your credit card like this but by you know passing over or waving over your wallet or some other techniques like that uh, they can actually get access to some of the chips that are built into the cars and then basically you know they hop online start shopping you don't even realize it. it's not like your wallet disappeared it's just that the um, technology they have can actually take some of the information so they can go out and start spending your money or empty your bank account whatever it might be so the technology built into these items is that it blocks that type of technology so they can't get access to your RFID information essentially. So RFID chips can be found in things like passports and credit cards, uh, things with PayPass or Blink logos and most security key cards. So it's not like it's you know one in a million out there. There's lots of different things that have these RFID chips and this type of technology will actually protect your uh, your cards from having anything be taken or information be taken out of them. You can also see on the back here, you've got another little additional pocket and inside it does remind us that VanQuest is designed in the USA and assembled in the Philippines. So let's take a look at the larger item now. This is the Cash C-A-C-H-E. This is going to run you $16.99 on their website. Both this and the vault come in black foliage uh, foliage gray, just so we're clear, uh, tan, and also in multicam as well. So you have a bunch of different options. Now, this one has, uh, you can see the VanQuest logo on the front, nothing on the back, and then inside, you can see we have a variety of larger, um, larger pockets, or more pockets, I should say. So you've got pocket under here, pocket under here, and then two here, and then you can actually put cash inside or whatever else you want to put inside. And again, the VanQuest design in America and assembled in the Philippines. Just to contrast the two in size, you can see the first one and when I put the vault on top of it. Now you could certainly get you know one of each of these. You could keep credit cards in here and cash the other one, just stick this inside. Um, but the key thing again is that RFID blocking technology. So uh, very cool feature um, that they could build this, build this into a wallet and give you some protection from anybody who's out there who's trying to take your um, RFID information and start, you know, basically hop online and start shopping or emptying out your bank account. In conclusion, I'll say this. For the last probably three years, I've been using the Jimmy Wallet or the Jimmy Wallet X. Great little item, uh, nice wallet, but I'm actually going to be graduating to these. I've reviewed these. Um, I've had them for a while now, and this is my new wallet. So I'm using the, the cash as my primary wallet. This is a great little item if you're going to the beach or you want to just throw a couple cards in when you're going out somewhere, a couple credit cards or whatever it is. But this is my main wallet now. Um, if you go to the VanQuest website, again, vanquest.com, you can purchase either of these. You can also check out the reviews and a lot of people who have purchased them just very, very happy with them. 
Adam, who's from over at uh, Equip to Endure on YouTube, and also, you know, his, um, he's got forums, he's got a website. Anyhow, um, Equip to Endure, Adam, check this out, and gave it some really positive reviews, and that seemed to get a lot of people interested in them, and those people have been very, very happy with them. So, highly recommend Vanquist gear overall, and this item in particular. As always, thanks for checking out our videos. Please subscribe, like this video, and then check us out on Facebook, Twitter, and also on Tumblr as well. All right, take care.